we are looking at a Goodman AEPF air handler which is variable speed this is the size that goes with three and a half to five ton condenser units heat pump or straight cool I'm going to open it up and tell you about a few of the parts in there some of the ones I've added on here we have a commercial style smoke detector it's just because I had access to one I went ahead and installed it in my unit uh, what it does is it senses smoke in the ductwork and causes a alarm and shuts down the air handler so the blower doesn't spread the smoke and this is a light stick UV light used to kill bacteria and viruses that travel through the air and I have it right here at the filter so whatever gets trapped on the filter gets zapped by the UV light and now we'll take a look inside here we are looking at the inside of the air handler at least the bottom section, the top section is the coil here we have the blower and the first piece we're looking at is the variable speed blower board some of the things you'll see right here is the fuse, 3 amp low voltage fuse there's a short in the system that fuse will pop to protect the transformer some of the leads for the variable speed motor you see travel up along to the blower and into the module which is right here there's a module and a motor on variable speed and you see here some of the dip switches you set to set it up for whatever speed you want and capacity uh, for the air handler since Goodman makes air handlers that are suited for more than one capacity condenser uh, down here some of the low voltage connections, the field wire connections and over here is a transformer I added to power the smoke detector and the uh, UV light and the enunciator which goes off whenever the duct detector uh, senses smoke and that's in a different room in the back here you have the high voltage connections the 240 volts then you have a few of the heater parts uh, sequencer right there that brings on the heater strips you have some over limit switches and that's where the heater coils connect you'll see that black wire coming off that wiring connector that yellow circle there is over limit and up high here is the transformer which transforms 240 volts to 200 or to 24 volts excuse me and it's the same as this one down here uh, they both do the same thing this is the top section of the air handler for mine since it's downflow this is on the top and this is the evaporator coil which is the name given to the coil in the AC unit although this serves as a condenser coil in the winter time uh, it's generally called an evaporator coil or indoor coil and you have the small connector tubes that run the length of the coil and you see the aluminum fins run all the way down and you have the connector tubes and these small tubes are the capillary tubes which come off the metering device which is right beyond this line connection here this one's called a fixed metering device it's basically, a, basically an orifice with a small hole in it that lets a certain amount of refrigerant through uh, something else you may be familiar with is TXV thermostatic expansion valve which will change the amount of refrigerant to suit the load at the particular time which is the most efficient way to do it uh, 